For students aged 9 to 14, the first LEGO League competition is the hardest fun they'll ever have. I like it because of the challenges and the different missions that you have to complete and just the strategy in it. For team mentors, coaches and volunteers, it's a rewarding adventure. The students really look up to the judges for giving their time to listen to what they have to say, all the solutions they've come up with and the robots they've designed. And for sponsors, it's one of the most enlightened investments they can make. Time Warner Cable is involved with First Lego League because it is directly aligned with our initiative, which is called Connect a Million Minds. Legoland was one of the very first partners with First Lego League. We offer a North American championship and additional tournaments other regions participate in. First Lego League is an international program designed to get students interested in and excited about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Every year there's a new challenge that engages teams in hands-on robotic design using LEGO Mindstorms technologies. The theme this year is Nature Fury, so we got to learn a lot about different natural disasters. It gives us a chance to be challenged and we get to use LEGOs to do it. First LEGO League is a global organization with championships all over the world. Legoland is the Southern California partner. After the challenge is released, teams have only a few short weeks to design, program, and build their robots. How does your robot know where it is on the table? There are three parts to the competition. Teams go before a group of judges for each area. Robot design and robot game, project, and core values, such as gracious professionalism and teamwork. The hard work culminates in a high energy tournament. Three rounds on the competition tables to get the best score possible. We started with 28 teams in a parking lot for our very first tournament 15 years ago with First Lego League and Legoland as partners. We have added tournament after tournament every year to give teams a chance to compete and participate in hands-on science. Every single team here, if they qualify, it's just like the journey of going with your friends throughout all these challenges. That's the fun part too. Not just one person can do it. It's really about the team. Yeah. That's what FIRST is all about, giving team efforts. <laughs> the scope of our support is, uh, is incredible. We have corporate sponsors, government support, and support this year from a former NASA astronaut. I jumped at the chance because I had heard such great things about it, and I knew that the FIRST robotics program in general was doing some great things and getting students engaged in engineering and problem solving, so I could not come. Bring in together a lot of young kids who are full of enthusiasm and will be the future people in our state to maintain the innovation we need. And it's First Lego League and Legoland who are making that possible. The mission is to inspire young people to be science and technology leaders. Through the competition and teamwork, they learn life capabilities, including self-confidence, communication, and innovation. Hands-on science is very important to the LEGO brand and to Legoland as part of our education mission. It's important for our industry as well as our nation and all the communities that we serve that we build not only these skills in kids, but we build a pipeline of talent for future generations. This competition is really helping me, especially in core values, and also it's at Legoland. Who doesn't like Legoland? The Southern California FLL Nature Fury champion is the Nanobot. <laughs>